thrilled to welcome you today to the first official Mini Maker Fair in the DC metro area. And there's really no better place to have it than right here in downtown Silver Spring. It's fantastic to experience the energy of today's fair and to be surrounded by so many people who are excited by the power of making and are curious to learn more. Today's event is a perfect example of the type of activities we're trying to create in our museum. The Maker Fair is all about celebrating the curiosity and creativity of people of all ages. We have makers here from ages 9 and up. Our oldest maker is 92 years old and they're showing off incredible projects that they've been working on and just sharing their passion for what they make. What we're seeing today is a new approach to education and to child development that we know has to become a part of our mission in the schools and in our community. Everybody is so totally engaged. I've never seen so many children so excited, so focused on what they were doing. So congratulations to the Kid Museum. The Kid Museum is looking to establish a permanent home in Montgomery County. We want it to be a place that's really a gathering place for people of all different walks of life, a place where people can come together and just have shared experiences of exploring their worlds. Every day in school should look like the Mini Maker Fair. What do you guys think? Should school look like this every single day? I can't wait to see the Permanent Kid Museum coming soon to a location near you. Thank you, Kid Museum, for putting this on. They are doing a wonderful job. We want to make certain that they have a permanent home here in Montgomery County so that events like this can continue to flourish. We think that there's really a need for this in our community. We don't have a place that really celebrates this kind of creative exploration. We need to do more to give our kids a chance to learn through fun, learn through play, and really let their creativity and curiosity be their guide. People should care about this because it's our future. We really need to inspire our kids to be more creative problem solvers for the range of problems that we face in today's world. We need kids to develop the science and technology skills to compete in a global economy. But we also need kids to have a heart and understand how that creative problem solving can be applied in a way that makes the world a better place. We think that this area is a tremendous opportunity to really cultivate that and be a pioneering place for generating that, those 21st century skills. The more you make things, the more you think. And the more you think, it just, well, the more you think. And there's not enough thinking this world. It's too much. <laughs>